So this is analogous to the first generation lithium uh, metal batteries, which use uh, lithium metal as the anode. On this side, we have a piece of... Imagine a battery that could double the range of your car's charging times and finally break our dependence on fossil fuels. Sounds like science fiction, right? But it isn't. It's called the lithium metal battery. And if it works at scale, it could change everything we know about energy. For decades, researchers have dreamed of it. But with every breakthrough has come a barrier. Now, the race is heating up. From Silicon Valley startups to Chinese giants, everyone's chasing it. So, how close are we really to this so-called holy grail of batteries? Let's dive in. To understand why lithium metal matters, we need to look back at lithium ion, the workhorse of the modern world. Since Sony first commercialized it in the early 1990s, lithium ion batteries have powered laptops, phones, and more recently, electric cars. Their rise has been nothing short of revolutionary, but they're not perfect. Energy density, the amount of energy stored per kilogram, has improved only incrementally. And at some point, physics starts closing the door. The structure of lithium ion chemistry just can't deliver the dramatic leap we need for next generation transport and storage. That's where lithium metal comes in. Unlike lithium ion, which uses graphite for its anode, lithium metal batteries replace that graphite with pure lithium. The difference is staggering. Lithium metal has almost 10 times the theoretical capacity of graphite. On paper, this could mean electric cars with ranges well over 600 or even 700 miles on a single charge while keeping the battery pack light enough to be practical. The idea isn't new. Researchers proposed lithium metal anodes decades ago, but in practice, they came with nightmarish problems. Chief among them, dendrites, tiny needle-like structures that grow out of the lithium anode during charging. These dendrites can pierce the separator between the anode and cathode, causing short circuits, fires, and catastrophic failure. So for years, lithium metal was treated like a forbidden fruit. Tempting, yes, but dangerous and unmanageable. Engineers turned instead to lithium ion, making gradual gains with nickel-rich cathodes and silicon blends. Yet the dream of lithium metal never really died. Because if the dendrite problem could be solved, the potential rewards would be enormous. The core problem with lithium metal wasn't just performance, it was safety. Dendrites made these batteries unpredictable, sometimes even explosive. No car maker or grid operator could risk that. The challenge became, how do you harness the power of lithium metal without inviting disaster? Enter the solid state electrolyte. Instead of using a flammable liquid to shuttle lithium ions between electrodes, researchers began experimenting with solid materials, ceramics, sulfides, and polymers. The theory was elegant. A solid barrier would block dendrites from growing, while also eliminating the risk of liquid electrolyte fires. If it worked, you'd get a battery that was both denser and safer. But theory and practice rarely line up neatly. Early solid electrolytes cracked, reacted badly with electrodes, or suffered from sluggish ion transport, making them thin enough to compete with liquids, yet strong enough to resist dendrites turned out to be a monumental material science puzzle. Still, progress has been steady. In labs from California to Kyoto, researchers have unveiled prototypes boasting stable cycling over hundreds of charges. Toyota has shown test vehicles with solid-state packs. QuantumScape, a Silicon Valley startup, claims its ceramic separator can suppress dendrites entirely allowing fast charging without catastrophic failures. These developments don't mean the technology is ready for prime time, but they prove the concept is more than hype. Safety, though, is about more than dendrites. 
Every step of battery development demands rigorous testing under real-world stress. Heat, cold, vibration, repeated fast charges. All of these can expose hidden flaws. A pack that looks brilliant in the lab may falter on the highway or in a delivery fleet. That's why automakers are cautious. They've seen overhyped technologies collapse under pressure before. Yet the momentum behind solid electrolytes is undeniable. Governments are funding research, startups are raising billions, and established battery giants are devoting entire divisions to cracking the code. The once forbidden lithium metal battery suddenly feels possible again. If lithium metal is the holy grail, then the race to capture it has become one of the fiercest in modern tech. In the United States, QuantumScape has drawn headlines with bold claims and backing from Volkswagen. Their ceramic separator technology has shown promise in lab tests, boasting rapid charging and long cycle life. But critics argue their data is still too limited, their prototypes too small, and their path to mass production uncertain. Across the Pacific, Toyota has long positioned itself as a quiet leader. They've filed hundreds of patents related to solid-state batteries and hinted at limited releases within the decade. In Japan, government support for these efforts is strong, driven by a desire to maintain leadership in automotive technology as China and South Korea surge ahead. Meanwhile, in China, companies like CATL and BYD are hardly sitting idle. They're investing heavily in both incremental lithium-ion improvements and long-term lithium metal research. With enormous domestic markets and tight state backing, they have the scale to push new chemistries faster than almost anyone else. South Korea's Samsung and LG are also in the hunt refining their own solid-state approaches and forming partnerships with carmakers desperate for an edge. The global battery industry has become a battlefield of patents, prototypes, and pilot plants. What makes this race so intense is that the winner won't just sell more cars. They'll control the supply chains, the intellectual property, and potentially the direction of the entire clean energy transition. That's why billions are being poured in, despite the risks. Because whoever gets there first could dominate an industry worth trillions. The real allure of lithium metal lies in its extraordinary energy density. Imagine cramming nearly twice the energy into the same weight of battery. For electric cars, that means 600, even 700 miles on a single charge. For aircraft, it could mean practical electric flight, something lithium-ion has struggled to deliver. Range anxiety, the constant worry of running out of juice, could finally disappear. But density is only half the story. Charging speed has become a battleground in its own right. Today, most EVs can fast charge to 80% in 20 to 40 minutes. Impressive, but still slower than filling a gas tank. Lithium metal promises much faster charging, in theory, just 10 or 15 minutes. QuantumScape, for instance, has shown data suggesting cells can reach 80% in 15 minutes without forming dendrites. Yet theory often collides with reality. Fast charging generates heat. Heat degrades cells. And as packs scale up from the lab to the road, thermal management becomes a massive engineering challenge. If charging too quickly shortens the battery's lifespan, then the trade-off may not be worth it. Automakers know this all too well. They balance consumer expectations for speed against warranty costs and safety margins. Another complication is infrastructure. Even if a car could charge in 10 minutes, can today's grid or charging stations deliver that kind of power reliably? Building high-capacity charging networks is an entirely separate bottleneck, one that won't be solved by battery chemistry alone. Still, the promise is tantalizing. A denser, faster, safer battery would silence the last major criticisms of EVS. The question isn't just whether it can be built, 
but whether it can be built affordably, at scale, and soon. When might you actually buy a car with a lithium metal battery inside? That's the million dollar question. Or more accurately, the billion dollar one. Lab results can look dazzling, but scaling them up to the factory floor is where many breakthroughs have died. Manufacturing consistency is critical. Every cell must perform identically and safely, which is far harder with volatile lithium metal. Experts often say it takes a decade or more for a promising chemistry to move from academic research to mass production. Right now, most automakers are hedging their bets. Toyota, BMW, and Volkswagen have all funded solid-state or lithium metal startups, with optimistic targets of commercial deployment in the late 2020s. Katiel's announcement of a lithium metal prototype with nearly 500 cycles was a signal of intent, but they were careful to describe it as early stage. That's a corporate way of saying, don't expect it in showrooms tomorrow. Costs are another elephant in the room. Lithium itself is expensive, and ultra-pure lithium metal even more so. Complex electrolyte formulations, some requiring exotic fluorinated solvents, won't come cheap either. For mass adoption, the price must fall close to today's lithium-ion packs, which are already edging toward $100 per kilowatt hour. Otherwise, lithium metal risks being confined to premium niches luxury EVS, long-range aircraft, or space applications. So, while the hype is tempting, the reality is sobering. Lithium metal is still at least several years away from being a mainstream option. And even then, it will likely arrive in high-cost markets first. Lithium metal batteries promise a leap forward. Lighter packs, longer range, and performance once thought impossible. But every gain comes with risk, dendrites, instability, cost. For now, the technology sits on the edge between breakthrough and mirage. Cattle's entry shows momentum, yet the road to mass adoption will be long and uneven. Still, the stakes are enormous. If lithium metal truly works, it could reshape transport and energy forever. So what do you think? Are lithium metal batteries the future, or just another overhyped dream? Let me know in the comments, subscribe, and remember, just have a think.